In this lesson, we are going to work on second derivative test. In our previous lesson, we defined concavity and we work on concavity theorem. If the function f is twice differentiable at x equals c, then the graph of f is concave upward at c and f of c if f double prime of c is greater than zero and concave downward if f double prime of c is less than zero. Now let's suppose c is a point on the graph of the function f prime of c and f double prime of c both exist and f prime of c is zero and function is concave down at c then c is a local maximum on the graph of the function c and f of c is a local maximum similarly if f prime of c is zero and f double prime of c is positive function is concave up at c then c and f of c is local minimum of the graph of the function let's have a couple of examples to understand this let's find local maximum minimum of f of x equals x2 minus 2x by second derivative test f prime of x is 2x minus 2 f prime of 1 is 0 if we set 2x minus 2 to 0 we get x equals 1 f double prime of x is 2 it is always positive therefore it is positive at 1 2 therefore by second derivative test 1 and negative 1 is a local minimum of the function. So what we do is we find the derivative, we set derivative to 0, and we find the critical numbers. We plug those numbers into the second derivative and see if second derivative is positive or negative. Another example, f of x equals x3 minus 3x2. First derivative is 3x2 minus 6x. It is 0 when x is 0 or 2. If we factor 3x, we have 3x times x minus 2. It is 0 when x is 0 or 2. f double prime of x, the second derivative of the function is 6x minus 6. f double prime at 0 is negative 6. And f double prime at 0 at 2 is positive 6. Therefore, 0 and 0 is local maximum. f prime of 0 is 0, and f double prime is negative. So it is maximum. And 2, and if you plug 2 into the function, we get negative 4, is local minimum of the graph of the function f prime of 2 is 0 and f double prime of 2 is positive thanks for watching